Hi, I am Chad, here with Hollow, and today we're going to talk about how learning English and improving your English ability can help you get a job in the United States without ever leaving your own home. So I just saw this news, a US company called Remote, which is focused on helping companies in the United States find employees across the world who are just working from their own countries and their own homes. They raised $150 million which now values them at over a billion dollars. So ever since the pandemic, things have changed. Companies think differently about people working from home. And now companies are realizing that they don't have to hire people just in their own city or their own country. They can hire employees on the other side of the world and they can communicate through video chat, email, text and still get the same benefit. So now the search circle is really expanding for these companies and that means good opportunities for you if you don't live exactly where the company does. If you live in Korea or India or Indonesia and you wanna work for a company in the United States but you don't wanna leave your home country, now you don't have to. And this really appears to be the future of how businesses are thinking and how businesses are working. They're gonna start looking for employees in countries besides their own. Previously, if I wanted to work in a company that was in New York, I would most certainly have to move to New York City, live there, and get the job there, and go to the office every day. Now, that's not the case. I can work from home, I can apply for companies there, and many companies are becoming accepting of that. The pandemic has changed how businesses think about remote workers. And that's good news for you if you want a job in the US or another country. And this company remote raising $150 million tells you that the smart people who are investing, they really believe that remote work is the future because remote's exclusive job is just to help companies find employees in different countries. So even here at Hollow, we have employees in Korea, India, and Chile and I expect that's gonna continue for us and continue for other companies too. So that's great news for you if you're interested in working in the US or another country, but there's gonna be a requirement for almost every single international job posting, and that's going to be the ability to speak English. So there's gonna be communication through email, text, and video chat most likely. And you're gonna need to have at least the basics of English in order to get a job for one of these companies. And I know that sounds scary because you probably think you're so far away, but you're not, I promise you. I promise your English is better than you think it is. And you're probably not far away from being good enough to get some of these jobs. So on this YouTube channel and at Hollow, we're gonna be providing resources for one, how do you find a job in a different country? How do you prepare a resume? How do you interview for a job like this? And then once you have the job, What's communication with coworkers and bosses like? What is business culture like? Or what is culture like in the country that I'll be going to? So here at our YouTube channel and at hollow.tv, we're gonna be showing you guys how to do all of those things and how to prepare to get a job in a different country while maybe not even leaving your home. So one thing you need to be doing if you want to work for a company in the US or another country and you wanna improve your business English, you need to find an opportunity to speak English every week. And it sounds intimidating, but you don't have to move to another country. There's ways that you can do it, again, from home or with friends. So you can practice English with your friends who are also learning. You can join a local club. Here at Hollow, we have several safe options where you can jump online and talk with a teacher, talk with a class, in a real comfortable and practical English setting. But you have to find opportunities to speak. You can't just learn English in the classroom. You have to have an environment where you can practice speaking your English. And yes, that's possible in the classroom. So maybe a small classroom, that would work. But if you want to work for one of these companies, you're gonna need some basic conversational English. And the only way to get comfortable with that is practice. Practice speaking. That's something that I've learned when I've learned Korean before is that I can study as much as I want on my own with books. But the only way to get better at having a conversation is to have a conversation. So one more thing you can do is start getting familiar with whatever industry you want to be in. For example, let's say you're interested in accounting. Then maybe read a book, an English book about accounting. Just start getting familiar with the terminology. What types of words are used at a US company when they're talking about accounting? You don't have to know everything right away, but the familiarity will help you if you can get used to how people talk when they're talking about whatever industry you'll be in. So for example, I know a pretty good amount of Korean, but 
if you ask me to talk about cars, let's say I wanted a job in Korea working for a car repair shop or doing marketing for a car company in Korea, I know almost no words related to cars. So in order to get familiar with that, well, then I need to read a book in Korean about cars. Same thing for English. Let's say you wanted to work for a company like Apple. Well, then it would probably be a good idea if you started learning more technological English terms. So on this channel, we'll also cover a lot of basic business vocabulary, just going through some of the most common things said around the workplace. So resources like that will help you too. So right now you might be thinking, oh, it's gonna be really hard for me to get a job at an English speaking company or a remote job working in the United States. I'm just gonna show you a few companies who are also raising money and who are also growing a lot, who are focused on helping companies hire international employees. Here's some, some of the companies besides remote that are also raising money or growing. So Oyster, they raised $50 million in funding in June. Deal, now valued over a billion dollars. Turing, Papaya Global, valued over and over a billion dollars, and many more. So in this article they say, the opportunity they are collectively tackling is a massive one that if anything appears to be growing. I mean, you think about the billions of dollars that is going into companies that are simply helping other companies hire international employees. We're talking about billions of dollars. It's not hard to see where the future is going if you pay attention to where the money is going. The top investors, the top businesses, they believe that hiring international employees to work remotely is the future. And they're putting a lot of money towards that. So if you believe that, if you agree that that's possible and you wanna improve your job prospects, if you wanna work for a company that's just not in your city, if you wanna work from home, then right now is the time to start studying and improving your English. So Hollow, we are ready to help you on your English journey and hopefully lead you to wherever you wanna go, whether it be get a job in another country like the United States or simply just improve your conversation. So please subscribe below, check out our future videos and check out our website, hollow.tv. We will see you guys next time. Thank you, bye.